YouTube! Welcome back to my channel. I figured we would sit down and talk about some plants. Our world is ever-changing and ever-different, so I figured I would just sit down. I know that everything is kind of crazy right now. I obviously can't be going out in stores and do my usual plant shopping videos. Um, <clears throat> but I just want to remind you guys that we're all in this together. I know everybody keeps saying that, but whenever I get super in my own head about how I'm, my life isn't advancing or I'm behind on something or something in my life is going to be messed up, it's just the same for everybody. Everybody is getting messed up. There's no way you can fall behind when everybody is at home. <laughs> Let that be a little bit uplifting. My county just got issued the stay at home order from Governor Tom Wolf. And yeah, I know that we don't really want to sit here and talk about the way it is, but I figured I would address what is going on right now. Um, me and my boyfriend are, we just moved. This is my new office space. I'm going to totally redecorate it, but right now I figured I would just have a little corner, light a little candle, sip a little beer. We are having a hazy IPA by Bell's. It's the official. And I would tell you personally in my collection what my top five favorite plants are. Now these aren't five favorite plants in terms of my five favorite plants ever in the world. These are five favorite plants in my collection. Why do I, my five favorite plants in my collection, why do I need to embellish that anymore? Let's get started, okay? Now I am just gonna swoop in here real fast with an honorable mention, I know, top five, but my honorable mention is my string of coins, which I love and you guys have seen me love. I bought this, you guys saw me when I was plant shopping, but the reason I didn't wanna put it in my top five is because it's only been in my collection for a couple months, but I love it. So let's get into my real top five. That's my honorable bunch. My first favorite is my variegated string of hearts. Um, why? You're gonna notice in this video, I tend to gravitate towards stringing and vining plants as my favorites because I'm just a sucker for that farmhousey vining look. I think there's just something so mystical and majestic about it. So I am obsessed with the way it looks and string of hearts are some of my favorite the way they look. And this is a variegated one. So if you want to look, it has pink in it and white in it, and I got it from actually Nick Pelecki at Urban Jungle in Philly, which I'm going to take this moment to say, I know we're all struggling, but when things reopen or anything, just try to help out your local plant shop and nurseries as opposed to going to like Lowe's and Home Depot, which will be fine. It's our local shops we really need to worry about. And I got this from Nick at Urban Jungle. It's a gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous variegated string of parts. And this has just exploded in growth for me. You guys, if you watch, I think my first plant video I ever posted on this channel, I bought this plant, which was last spring. So I've had it for about a year. It sat in a pot for a couple months and did absolutely nothing and hated me. And then it just went and now it's growing. It's beautiful little tendrils of gorgeousness. I can't wait until all of my vining plants, I can just put them next to each other in their similar lengths, like a string of spades and everything like that. But I just adore the way this plant looks. I adore the way I just, ugh, it's pink. Like, can you guys just get over how gorgeous this plant is? No, you can't. And that's why it's one of my favorites. Number five. My next one is number four. It would probably be higher up on my list because it is a rare plant, but it is newer to my collection and I I just adore it. And it's my Anthurium clarinivarum. I never know how to pronounce this. Clarinivarium, clarinivarum, I don't know. Um, he needs a little water. He's a little wilted right now and we just moved, but he is such a gorgeous plant. I love the detailing of the leaves. I love the veining. I love the shape. This guy is just like, that's a really good one. I think this is just, a fantastic plant. I think it's such a statement plant. I love the way it looks in this little white fall thing I got at Michael's a couple of years ago. And he just, he sits on my desk and I just love the way he looks there. He has such beautiful, this is like the color green. When I have a plant in my house and I think of the color green I prefer, it's this rich Kelly green. I really tend to gravitate to and I tend to think makes more bold um, decor than the other green, like, I will decorate anything with a plant. Like, come on, this thing has polka dots, this thing's all over the place, but something about this anthurium just is so striking to me, and uh, he's rare, so of course I'm obsessed with him, okay? Okay, okay, okay. 
Number three. This boy is my string of pearls. Now he has just exploded. I bought him and he was about, you know, yay long. And then he's just really come to a whole new world for me. Um, so this is another perfect statement plan. I have him down in my living room and I love the way he looks kind of in my planty corner. I think that this, when it comes to decorating with plants, the texture that this vining gives you is unmatched that you get from a string of pearls. I mean, you can get it from a string of beans too. I have a string of beans and I left it at our old apartment because right now <laughs> we have till April 1st to get out of our old apartment and we're in this apartment, long story, and we're in the quarantine. So but the reason I left him at my old apartment is because I discovered when I went to move him, he has mealy. And I did a good in-depth in depth search of this guy, and he does not have mealy. Just cat hair and dog hair. Just like I said, I adore the Kelly Green of the um, Anthurium clarinivarum, that current or clarinivarium, sorry guys. That is what I prefer. I also really like the kind of Irish green that the string of pearls is. Now, he has a couple strands that are a little sickly and I can tell you that I do think that string of pearls can be a little bit demanding. <laughs> this, I did, I will tell you, I killed two. One, I didn't mean to, it's just he got really bad bugs. Um, but this is the one I've had the longest and has gotten the longest for me. So I'm super proud of him and I think he makes a fantastic decor piece. This next plant I'm about to show you guys saw my house plant tour and you might be like, Meg, this is a generic everyday plant that you could find at the grocery store. So why are you so obsessed with this plant? And it's my Neon Hartley Philodendron. I have two, but this one's a little bit different. I bought him from a rare plant greenhouse where he came off the mommy plant is like a ginormous. So I need to fix his thing up. So he's falling down a little bit. But this is my Hartley, my Neon Hartley Philodendron. He got a little bit beat up in our move, but like, look at this leaf. Can you just die looking at the size of that thing? Like, where even am I behind this thing? I love him so much that I literally just keep my meter in him 24 seven, so I make sure he always has everything that he needs. <laughs> um, I am obsessed with this plant, like, from a decor standpoint, too. Like, just look at how aesthetic this thing is. Okay, okay, okay. Like, it's so bright, the leaves are so healthy, it's just my favorite thing. And knowing that it came off of such an old plant and that these leaves on here are so mature, um, there's history to this plant. So, um, I got it as a cutting from Russell's Garden Center in Southampton, PA, and I love it there. So, another place to support when all of this crap goes down. And, I think that this is another, uh, just a freaking statement piece. Like, look at the color. Look at the color. Look at the size of the leaves. Like, you can't tell me that this thing is not just one of the most fantastic things you've ever seen. And the fact that it's like, you know, I'm not sitting here t showing you my $5 million rare plants. Like, my Anthurium was like $80 and, you know, Everything else is like a rare plant. Like this is just a neon Hartley philodendron and I got a cutting of it for 14 bucks. And now here we are. And he's, he's just fantastic and majestic. I love him. And for my number one plant, I will insert some clips. It's just my plain normal everyday string of hearts. Yes, the regular, just green string of hearts has to be one of my favorite plants. It is the color of it, it has like this bluish greenish milky tone of variegation through the leaves that I think is so fantastic. They're so thick and succulent-esque and I love the cascading form, the way the leaves look. It just reminds me very, it reminds me of something very northeast, something I can almost like find in a fairy forest or like some beautiful fairy garden or fairy enchanted land. It's just something about it and it adds so much texture for decoration. I love the way it looks because the 
there's really no other plant that grows like a string of hearts and I love the green and the way it looks. It can be farmhousey, it can be boho, it can dress up a space, it can dress down a space. Um, <clears throat> recently, unfortunately, mine was so long and I was taking such good care of it and I, I kept it um, when we were moving in a place where I thought it would be safe and unfortunately slammed on my braid. And he got all tangled in his macrame hanger, so I had to give him a haircut. So I chopped a lot of him off, so he's going to cascade back down. And I, what I like to do is just, when he gets too long, or if there's a section that didn't really get too much sun, it gets a little too barren, I love to just chop it off, stick it in some water, root it, stick it back in the top, and then let it grow down. Because mine is a little bit... <clears throat> barren so I want to put and fill it in with a couple more but I don't want it to be too full because I think that like it's not straggly looking but just that spaced earthy look of them all spaced out where they're not all over each other but it's not like super barren is it's just my aesthetic okay and I know you guys are probably like you keep saying all these decor and aesthetic and texture stuff but that's just what I love to do I love having plants but I also love decorating with plants because I'm the type of person who, if my plant collection doesn't look aesthetic or put together, it just looks like a house in North Philly to me. <laughs> or like that de old creepy dentist office you go to and has like all the weird plants in the window and you're like... I'm the type of person who likes to keep my plant collection looking like it's part of the decor as opposed to I'm decorating around it, if that makes any sense. I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you're remaining healthy and safe. And like I said, I'm not sitting here to say, stay inside and blah, 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 like everybody else is, even though that's what you should probably be doing because, because I just like watching all these celebrities and YouTubers who are like, stay inside from their mansions. I'm like, it, I don't know. The juxtaposition of Vanessa is just so like, so let's just take a sip of beer and be friends and I will post more videos. You guys tell me what your favorite plants are in your collection. Let's talk because it's just me and you, you and me and all other people. And I don't know why I can't keep my eye off you. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you had a fantastic evening of isolation um remember we never get this big of a break so i mean i know a lot of people are out of work and everything and it, it's terrible but sometimes you have to remember we never get this chance to just sit and breathe and it's just so weird but cheers i hope to see you in my next video have a fantastic day bye